So let's get started on today's um, presentation. What I'm going to talk about is uh, UC2. This is an undernatured type 2 collagen, and it is specifically designed, formulated, and sold for uh, supporting uh, healthy joints. So what I'm going to cover today is, first of all, I'm going to talk about the, um, the UC2 um, product um, that is sold by Now Foods and what it looks like on the shelf. And I'll go over some, some points about that particular uh, presentation on the shelf. And then um, I'm going to go into detail, talk about the science, the clinical research that is the basis of the um, claims that we make for UC2, talk a little bit about the mechanism of action, and then we'll talk about the sourcing and the quality that um, Lanza, as a Swiss company, uh, delivers to products like UC2. So let's take a quick look at what, um, what the uh, now um, presentation looks like on the shelf. And here's a quick snapshot of what that um, bottle looks like. And I just want to point out a few uh, quick things. Uh, number one, small capsule size. Um, what's unique about UC2 is that it's a 40 milligram dose delivered once per day. And for many customers who are uh, suffering from pill fatigue and so on, a once a day capsule is a very nice solution to that fatigue. Another thing that's um, highlighted in this uh, presentation on this bottle is the fact that this product is, is supported by three published well-designed human studies. And we're going to go into more detail shortly about those studies. Um, this is a veg cap, which as most of you know, um, the world is definitely going in the direction of um, vegetarian everything. And so being in a veg cap is a very, very nice feature and benefit for this particular uh, product delivery. Um, the other thing that um, is mentioned in the suggested usage section in, in the back of this um, bottle is the fact that um, UC2 works um, synergistically with the um, immune system to support joint health. And I'll explain exactly what that means and what that's all about. And um, this is all patented technology. So UC2, um, there's only one UC2. It is a patented ingredient. And at this point, only UC2 has the science-backed um, support to make the structure function claim uh, that, supports, that supports joint health. And then finally, um, when you take a look at the bottle itself, you'll notice that it's a, it's a, it's a rather small bottle. And it's actually a three-month supply. And again, that's coming back. Uh, to the point that it's a small once-a-day capsule, and it's it's it, it's one of the most salient features that your customers are going to pick up on right away. The once-a-day dosing versus three times uh, dosing for you know the industry's um, you know bellwether product that's been around a long time, and I'm talking about glucosamine chondroitin. So when you look at the difference between what we bring to the table in terms of that once-per-day product, and you know what has been the traditional. Um, supplementation standard in the past for joint health, it's it's really quite a change for our, for for your customer base, and I think they'll really appreciate that. Okay, so what is UC2? UC2 is really comprised of undenatured type two collagen. There's many different collagens um, in our bodies. Type two collagen is the one that is most predominant in our knee. And the way we make this product is that we derive it from chicken sternum. And that's um, part of the breastplate where the muscles for the wings uh, attach to. And, you know, most of the protein, something like 90%, if not more of that protein, is this type 2 collagen. And that's, that's one of the richest sources of type 2 collagen that um, we know of. The product itself is trademark, patented. And as I said, clinically uh, studied ingredient for joint health. It is manufactured here in the US under food GMP conditions. And again, I think for the, many of the customers that you'll talk to, I think many of them are very familiar with um, some of the past issues with products coming from overseas and some of the issues that pop up with some of these products. So having that USA manufactured here um, umbrella for a product like UC2, I think, will be a nice asset for, for, for many of these customers. And certainly, it provides a very nice story to tell. We already talked about the small dose, 40 milligrams once per day. We'll talk in a few minutes about oral tolerance 
and this unique mechanism of action and really what's that all about and how that makes us different from all the other products that are currently out on the market. And then we'll also very briefly touch on a very nice study that was recently completed by um, Pfizer. And this um, study is in the public domain. And, and what they basically did in that study is to substantiate the science behind, um, behind UC2 for their own purposes and some of the work that they're doing uh, with UC2. So it's a very nice validation by the largest pharmaceutical company in the world. And we're very proud of that, uh, that study. Okay, so for today's presentation, we'll talk about um, the healthy subject study. That'll be the first one we'll talk about. Then we'll talk about this other study that was done in a, uh, in a population that was experiencing some uh, joint uh, dysfunction. And then uh, we'll briefly mention some of the original pilot work that went into UC2. And then we'll quickly move on to the mechanism of action and some other matters. So let's get started by talking about um, this randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study in healthy volunteers. This was the first study ever done in a healthy population um, looking at joint function. And that's an important point to bring up here because if you look at the Deshay regulations and, and how structural function claims should be made, that involves uh, doing work in, in healthy volunteers. And um, for many of the studies that were done, for example, um, for glucosamine chondroitin, uh, they were not done in healthy subjects. And in fact, I'm not aware of any that were done in healthy subjects. So many of those claims fall outside the confines of, of Deshay. So that's why this study um, was done. So let's, let's talk about very quickly how this study was set up and what was the main pivotal outcome of this study. So this was a study that was done here in the United States. There are two groups in the study, a placebo group and a group that was supplemented with 40 milligrams of UC2. Total number of subjects, 55. The study was carried out over four months. The primary endpoint for this study was an improvement in knee function and that was measured using range of motion. Um, I won't have any time to go through that in great detail, but I believe we have a slide up here that will shows you basically how it's done, and I'll touch on that in, in a minute. Um, some of the secondary endpoints that we looked at in this study was the time to onset of knee joint pain on the step mill, and also time to offset of that knee joint pain uh, after stepping off the mill. The way the study was done, it was a time course study. So we were looking at how quickly UC2 was able to uh, improve that knee joint function. And so we looked at day seven, day 30, 60, 90, and 120. And what's very interesting about this study also is that because we selected against anyone who had any dysfunction in their knees that could be characterized um, as a disease. In fact, a medical doctor actually ran the study. And so this individual was in a very good position to provide a diagnosis that's, that basically says these people are free of disease. Um, as a result of putting those constrictions around how the study was, uh, was done, we selected for a population that was uh, quite young. The average age um, in the study is 46, and um, people in the study, um, you know, when you look at the distribution of age in this in this study, we had a number of people who were in the 30s. So we're looking at a population that is still relatively young, that wants to maintain its health, that um, is looking to um, exercise on the weekend. You know, the typical weekend warrior. And so we, um, we, because of how we designed this study, we naturally selected against or for those individuals. So what did we see in this study? So if we look at the right side of slide number nine, what we see here is that improvement in range of motion as measured in terms of the degrees to which they can extend out their knees. And so what we see here over time is a nice increase in that green bar. That's the individuals 
who was supplemented with UC2 versus the gray bar, which is those individuals who were supplemented with placebo. And by day 90, we saw statistical significance versus baseline. That's what that asterisk means. And by day 120, the, um, that little orange squiggle there is the statistical significance versus placebo. And, and these are the kinds of things that are important in terms of being able to make a claim that is substantiated, number one, but more importantly, will also stand up to regulatory review. So this kind of study is important because it, it validates the claim and what you're telling your customers, and it gives you the assurance that they're gonna be back. And that's what's really important about any brand, that you get repeat business. So what this does, it tells us as scientists that this stuff really works, but what that means to you as, as a retailer is that not only does it work, but you can expect these customers to come back through the door because once this bottle runs out, they're gonna to wanna to come back because they wanna to continue to feel good. They wanna to continue to have a good quality of life. They wanna be able to do the things that they want to do without feeling that um, their knees have betrayed them. So th this is why these kinds of studies become very important because it, it, it gives you that assurance at the end of the day that you're selling something that is of value to your customers and also is a benefit to them. So to summarize for this particular study, um, like I said earlier, it's the first time that a study was done in, in healthy subjects. Uh, number two, the UC2 uh, significantly increased the average knee extension compared to placebo. Um, UC2 um, was effective in alleviating uh, the joint discomfort associated with exercise and in, in healthy subjects, and I didn't present that data here, but um, in, separate, in separate analyses of these studies, we did see a very strong trend towards um, reduction in pain. And what's very interesting here, because these are healthy subjects, use of the word pain is appropriate because they would recover anyway. So this pain is not associated with a disease, but it is associated with the normal everyday activities that they participate in. And what UC2 will help them feel is a quicker turnaround, a quicker recovery from getting through their exercise, from bicycling, from running, and all these things. And this is really helping the healthy repair process that we all have. Uh, it's just helping it along a little bit here. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about reduction in pain, okay? And then finally, and what's important to all of us um, is that um, at the end of this study, there were no adverse events and the product was well tolerated. So again, this comes back to the safety part of this product. So very quickly, I'm gonna go over another study with you here. And this study was done in individuals with a compromised joint dysfunction. And again, this is the type of studies that uh, lend credence um, to this brand as a scientifically validated uh, ingredient that um, provides benefits. And so this is a rather large study with 186 individuals. There were three groups, a placebo, a glucosamine chondroitin group, and UC2. And what we did in this study is we used Womack. This is a medically validated questionnaire that has been used for many, many years um, to look at all kinds of ingredients and, you know, like glucosamine chondroitin and other things to intervene in joint health. And um, this study, like the healthy subject study, was overseen by medical doctors. It was carried out in 13 centers. And that's important because by doing it in multiple centers, what happens is um, you reduce the risk of any bias being introduced. And this is a gold standard um, that um, exists in the pharmaceutical um, world. And so bringing this kind of approach to validating an ingredient, a, a, a nutraceutical, and you know, really adds a lot of uh, scientific um, integrity to a product like UC2. Um, <clears throat> this study was carried over six months and, um, Again, 
we looked at a time course starting at day seven, day 30, 60, 90, 120, and so on, um, to see how quickly UC2 would mediate its effects and improve joint um, function in these particular individuals. And if you turn your attention to the chart on the right, what you see here is an ongoing reduction in the total Womack score. And in this case, as the score goes down, that's a good thing uh, because a reduction in the Womack score translates either into a reduction in joint dysfunction or an increase in overall general functionality and also an increase possibly into quality of life. So that's how that translates when the, when the score goes down. In our case, we saw actually all three of these things kick in. So when you look at this overall number, what's behind that is um, a reduction in joint discomfort, an improvement in functionality, um, the ability to climb stairs, to, to walk, to, to go to the grocery store, to lift items and, and things like that. That's how these questionnaires are set up, as well as in an increase in the quality of life. How do I feel when I get up in the morning? You know, am I excited to be out there, you know, doing my daily chores and stuff like that? All of these parameters improved in the case of UC2. And what you see here, if you look at the green line, um, by day 60, um, the improvement in all these parameters was statistically significant for um, UC2 versus placebo. And you can see that statistical significance continue throughout the whole study. And by the end of the study, not only was UC2 statistically significant versus placebo, but at that point, we were statistically significant versus glucosamine chondroitin, okay? Now, by contrast, when you look at this chart and you look at the orange, yellowish-like line, that's glucosamine chondroitin. Um, and at no time, as you look at the reduction in that score, was glucosamine chondroitin showing an effect that was statistically significant versus placebo. So what does this mean? In short, basically, this is a failed study for glucosamine chondroitin. It did not achieve a statistically significant outcome. It failed to, to show an improvement. And this is not the first study um, to, to show this kind of effect. There are other large studies that have shown in the past that glucosamine chondroitin has a marginal to no effect on, on, on joint uh, function. Okay, so we're not, we're not like out there in, in left field compared to other large studies. So to conclude here, the UC2 brand achieved um, statistical significance versus placebo. We achieved statistical significance versus um, glucosamine chondroitin. And glucosamine chondroitin was basically a failed outcome um, in this particular study. So moving on, I promised that I was going to talk about the proposed mechanism of action. So here we are. So let me spend a minute kind of walking through this. Um, it, it does look frightening at first because you're seeing all these cells and, and stuff going on here. But it's, it, let me take a moment here to walk you through it. It's, it's, it's not that complicated. So what happens in the case of UC2? It's a very unique mechanism of action. What happens is basically this. UC2 acts locally within the gut to mediate its effects. But in acting locally, what it does, it creates a cascade of events that work systemically throughout the body. And those events that occur throughout the body eventually concentrate in, in the joint areas. And it is in those joint areas that what happened in the gut is manifested. So as we walk through this, UC2 is adsorbed onto a specialized kind of cell. It's not absorbed. This is not about bioavailability or UC2 getting into the blood. It's about UC2 binding to a specific kind of cell in the gut. It's called an M cell. And M stands for microfold. And the function of this cell is to survey what we eat and to look for pathogens. That's its normal function. But in this case, it absorbs the UC2 protein, and that's what that little squiggle red line is all about. It takes it inside into the body where the UC2 
is, is bound by this specialized kind of cell. It's called a dendritic cell. And that's what that CD103-DC stands for. And these are specialized cells that are concentrated in the gut. And that UC2 molecule is processed by that cell. And together with transforming growth factor beta, that's what the TGF beta means. And RA, that stands for retinoic acid, which is a form of vitamin A. So together with vitamin A and transforming growth factor beta and the UC2, you activate this specialized lymphoid cell, immune cell, and it's called a T regulator. And it makes IL-10 and it also makes transforming growth factor beta. And that's important because those two molecules activate chondrocytes in the knee to make collagen. So how does that all work? So if we go to the next slide, typically when we exercise, we're breaking down our tissues. We do that every day. You know, we run, we walk, we do this, we do that, and our bodies are constantly replacing proteins that degrade, that get smashed up, that, you know, that, that go through the, the process of living, okay? So who we are today um, is a very different person from who we are six months from now because basically we're renewing ourselves, you know, 24-7. And our joints are renewing themselves 24-7. So whenever we run and jump and all that, micro damage occurs, okay? And think of it this way. Think of a pothole in the street. And so if you ever see the crew come and clean and, and, and work on a pothole, you know, they come, you get all these guys standing around looking at the pothole, they mumble, 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 and then they decide, okay, here's how we're going to fix it. So the first thing they do is one set of guys go in there and they clean it all out. They get rid of all debris and all that and, and make it all smooth and everything and take out all the junk that... Uh, you know, might prevent the new tar from binding. So all that's gone. Okay, so it gets all cleaned up. And then they begin the process of filling it back in. Okay, and that is what UC2 does. It is when you start to fill in that pothole or you start to replace that knee. All of this is done by the chondrocyte. The chondrocytes, it's a, it has multiple capabilities. But what it does when it's cleaning up the mess versus what it does when it's fixing the mess, requires all of these um, hormone-like molecules. And that's what UC2 does. It stimulates these T regulators to make the hormone-like molecules that ultimately are involved in telling that chondrocyte to repair. And so basically UC2, if you think about it in terms of green, um, UC2 uses the body's natural processes and gives it a little helping hand so that normal repair that's normally going on gets enhanced a little bit. And that's the hypothesized mechanism for how UC2 works. So when we look at this particular mechanism of action, which has been well studied, it's called oral tolerance, and this is an extremely active area of research in, in immunity and also in, phili in physiology. Um, and you compare it versus many of the other ingredients that you've seen being sold for, you know, for joint health, um, it's really quite different. And so you have collagen building blocks such as MSM, glucosamine, chondroitin, denatured type two collagens. Um, these proteins, when they're ingested, get digested in the gut. So, so denatured collagens, um, whether they're type 2, type 1, doesn't matter. Um, unlike undenatured collagen, they're just a source of protein and, and amino acids. And hydroxyproline is one of the important precursors to type, to type 2 collagen synthesis or the synthesis of any collagen. So that's really what these denatured collagens provide. And that's why you have to consume six grams of that, um, as opposed to only 40 milligrams of, of, of UC2. They're completely different mechanisms of action, um, and they do very different things. Um, so don't confuse the two. You can take even the two together, 
um, because one gives you one of the precursors that you need to make collagen, whereas the other ones stimulate that repair process. So there's nothing wrong with combining them or combining UC2 with any of these um, particular ingredients. Um, and then you have SAMe. So these are some of the precursors, okay? And then for immune response modulators, like for example, 5-loxin, aflopin, univestin, um, and even chondroitin, these work by, you know, reducing the sensation of pain. And they have their own unique mechanism of action that I'm not gonna cover, okay? So you've got all these combinations on your shelf. And, you know, when the customer comes in and is looking and he or she is looking for um, joint health, you've got the option of combining UC2, your product, um, and offering them other products to, and that together provide a, you know, a total solution, a total package for the customer. So to summarize, I've shown you some studies that, um, and, and why a UC2 brand contributes to joint health. Um, I've also showed you some data that UC2 is significantly better than glucosamine chondroitin as measured by this medically validated WOMAC uh, questionnaire. Um, I've talked at great length about why small once per day dosage is so important. I've explained the mechanism of action. Um, in addition, um, this product has a self-affirmed grass and also has an FDA new dietary ingredient notification, and that notification has been published. So, you know, this is one of those unique moments or one of those unique products um, in our industry where you have all the regulatory, science, legal, and all these other things um, supporting an ingredient that at the end of the day um, provides a, a measured benefit. And it's really why you see too, when you look at all these ingredients and, and you look at, you know, the information about joint health and all the products, and you look at the growth of all these products and where the joint health market is going, right now, you see too, is the only ingredient that is showing any positive growth. Um, and it is because it really delivers on its promise to um, provide, you know, healthy joints. And many of these other products are falling away either because the dosing is just unbearable or it simply does not deliver on its promise. Customers don't come back through the door, uh, don't want to repeat buy that product. And at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. You, you want your customers to feel better, to, to feel that their life is that they're, they're living their life to their fullest and that they want to come back to the door and buy not just this product, but, but other products as well. And so that's what this uh, UC2 brand is all about. It gives you, it gives us, it gives everyone the confidence at the end of the day um, to provide benefits to, to our customers. So let's talk about the quality promise. And like I said from the beginning, this is a U.S. totally manufactured product. Um, it is manufactured in a, a food facility, uh, FDA certified um, with self-affirmed grass. Um, I talked at length about validation. Uh, we have proprietary assays that quantify UC2 um, in products and on its own. And that's also very important because um, at the end of the day, you as a retailer, you want to make sure that what you're selling is in fact what's, what's on the label. And, um, you know, our industry has had enough stories in the past where what's on the label and what is in the bottle sometimes are not 100% congruent. And in that case, we have all the assays um, in place to support, you know, you all in making sure that what you're selling is, in fact, what's on the label. And then finally, the quality seal um, of approval that comes with having that UC2 label. Um, right there on the bottle, signifying that it is UC2. It's the original player. We're the ones that established um, the under nature type two collagen market. And uh, we're the ones with the data that validates the efficacy of the product as well as the safety. And then I'd like to finally close off with this um, standard disclaimer. And um, you can take a moment to read that um, disclaimer on your own. And thank you uh, for taking the time to listen to this webinar today.